The Orox win! The Orox win! Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't take the controller! And Dan just went off for another game! This time they're gonna face the Ronzos. Let's see if those furries are good underwater <laughs> and can stop them. Did you ready to call them furries? <laughs> oh my okay. god. Alright, so it's the Orox versus the Furries. <laughs> oh god. And that's gonna be the last game of the night, even though I said the last one was. I'm kinda having fun with this, and that's the only reason I let him keep the controller. So, <laughs> he has the run zone. The furry has the ball. He slips slow as shit, as you can see. And he's got a three on one. He's pretty slow, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but they're gonna tackle soft. Looks like we got three soft tackles, folks. We got three soft tackles incoming. Ron and they're all soft. Ronzo has are notorious for having high uh, defense for that. High defense. Well, because so we're gonna call them extra soft tackles then if they have good defense. They all right. All have very good. Bottom tackles extra soft, and Basic Furry throws a pass. <laughs> And the other furry fumbles that ball. Dennis! I guess when you're a furry, you don't catch up to certain things so quickly. Wow, dude. <laughs> oh, excellent. I'm right here. Ergoronzo is on the fence. We got a female furry here, folks. She's going to tackle soft, just like everybody else. And T is going to kick the shit out of that ball. And what's going to happen with it? They're going to score! They got a point. The Oryx have one point. Here's the blitz off, and the furry gets the ball. <laughs> so he's gonna swim really, really slow. The furry gets the ball. <laughs> and he oh, is on the back, and he's gonna tackle extra <coughs> soft. And the furry throws a pass, and Bowser Furry gets the pass. He's going. <laughs> I don't know why they'll, they'll just grab his tail and bring him down. But instead, they're going to do their extra soft tackles and hope to do something. And three extra soft tackles in a row, and the furry goes on. Oh, shit! And that's a spear shot. shot! That's a spear shot from the furry. Apparently, the furries are really good at doing shots here. And, of course, the fat ass is not going to block it! two shot and keep him with that seven catch! Seven is higher than two! Why are you so fat? And yet, it doesn't matter, because that bitch needs to go on Denny Craig. I think I'm gonna need to switch uh, Dado to center. So Can you switch your goalie? Because you know that'd be a good idea. I don't have another option. Yeah. I know. So Titus gets the ball and he's got he's got our guy Furry on him. Okay. <laughs> and even though they're really big, apparently they tackle pretty soft. So here goes Titus. He keeps going. He's got the female Furry, folks. What's gonna happen? She grabbed that ball! She grabbed the shit out of that ball. She made it look easy, folks. She almost grabbed that ball. She's got two on her. She's got two on her. There's a soft tackle there. And she's gonna throw a pass. Hands on ball, but it does nothing. And the pass successfully goes from the female furry to the male furry. Bottom's on the fence. Can he tackle a furry? No, he cannot. And here we go. There is no break. So he's going to shoot that ball. It's a regular shot, though. So he's going to kick the shit out of that ball. Seven, and is he going to pass six, by? He's going to pass by. Can he catch it? No. He was down five. to five, then to one. Lower than fail. number seven. Keeper is fucking terrible at life. Keeper fails yet again. And it's now two versus one. Not in the favor of the Oryx. They might actually lose this game. He's going to throw a pass over to Titus. Titus gets the ball. He's got a bunch of furries to deal with. Let's see how he deals with it. They have to send the same thing twice. 
And the furry cannot take the ball, so Titus is going to keep on going. He's going towards that goal. He's got the female furry. He's been giving him a lot of trouble. Apparently, Titus looks furry. He gets distracted. <laughs> Here comes Titus with the spear shot. If he doesn't get the ball grabbed, <clears throat> actually didn't grab his ball this time. So now he goes for the spear shot, which this is very successful most of the time. And he can't catch the ball. Apparently, Furries are no better at blocking. It's a two on two now. Game is tied. Here's the blitz off yet again. And there goes the Gazda Furry getting the ball. on the fence and here comes a soft tackle Only ladies two. and gentlemen the soft tackle Only two. it's the move of the game there we go we're gonna have another soft tackle that was four that was higher than Titus. before he just brushes it off once again he has no break these guys have no problem getting right past the team here he's throwing the pass instead of making a shot even though he had no break i don't know what the point of that was and he has a one-man big breakthrough. He's going to do a spear shot. And with the soft tackle, it's pretty safe to say that the spear shot is going to go through. And given the need for the Aurochs team goalie to get on Jenny Craig, chances are that's going to be another point. It makes no sense. If this catch is higher than a shot, that should mean he catches it. Simple math apparently does not apply. Furries. Fat-ass goalkeepers. But he once again has the ball, and they're probably pretty frustrated right now, so he's going to try to throw a pass over to Tinas, and Tinas is going to go over there, hope to get towards the goal, ha hopefully not have that woman grab the ball and actually make a score. But he's got a male furry to deal with first, so... Dude, I only have 18 seconds. He only has 18 time. seconds, as Dan's saying right now, but that's not the point. Okay, so what's going to happen here is he's going to try to get tackled, but it didn't happen, because apparently Freeze can't tackle either, and Tinas is going to attempt to shoot from a further distance. Is it going to happen? Shit. No, Zamzi Furry gets his hands on it, and then the woman gets the ball. Yeah, I, I didn't have a chance then. That was my one shot I hit. <clears throat> so, levels are going up, which is good, but is it enough? Is this experience enough to make the Aurochs better than the Furries? Daddo, middle fielder. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, this shit! And the sport where you get the shortest halftime ever, which unfortunately has no girls. Here is a blitz off yet again! And Daddo gets the ball. He's going to go ahead and swim with that ball. Let's see how he deals with this furry in his face. Wait, he has no... There's no furry in his face, but there's a furry right by Titus. But that doesn't actually mean anything unless they actually say something about it in the game. So, our guy furry's in his face. He's going to go ahead and dribble. There's going to be a soft tackle, and he's going to go ahead and go up with the ball. He'll go towards the goal. He's got the female furry. The one that apparently gives Titus the most trouble. She was not very successful in grabbing his ball there. So, now he's going to go ahead and go to the goal. He's going to shoot it. He's right in front of the goal. Oh, there's somebody coming out of nowhere. He's going to go for a normal shot. We're going to see a soft tackle. And we're going to see Titus kick the shit out of that ball. Was it hard enough? Whoa! What? Sam Furry got a hand on it, and that was it. What a somebody else on the same team still got the ball, so it's all good. The fucking shit. So, Newbie Furry is now currently in front of, uh, I forget his name. But, Letty! Yeah, I was about to say Lefty. Okay, she got a hand on it, but apparently her hand was not good enough. She should use both hands. Orgoronzo is on the fence. My laptop's about to die. I could probably plug it in, so I can't actually see the stream chat. And, T is just shooting that ball. He's doing the spear shot. Is it going to work? Ah! Yes, yeah, bitch! Two point, basically, it is now 3-3. Three to three. They have tied it up. Can they catch up? And the blitz off, and the furries are going to get the ball this time around. There goes Gazna Ronzo, swimming slow as shit, but it really doesn't matter. It's a three-on-one. That's not going to matter. 
matter. And you know what? It really doesn't mean shit because here come three extra soft tackles. So he passes that ball, obviously successfully. Slow but steady runs the race. I guess that's the furry's motto. Extra soft tackle in there. He's going to go ahead and pass that ball to another teammate. And he fumbled it. So now Titus plays that ball. And it's right by the goal, except his, his weakness, female furry, which was unsuccessful in grabbing his ball. So now Titus is going to go ahead and be right in front of the goal, make a shot. That's going to look like it's further than the actual distance from the game. But this could be another point. And there it is. It's now 4-3. to three. It is now back in the Aurochs' favor. The question is, can they keep it from the Furries long enough to win the game? Given their extra soft tackles, I'm not sure how possible this is going to be. Like so. Pass goes to the other furry. He's going to go ahead and swim slow as shit towards the goal, but successful because they can't. They, they, their defense really sucks. The Orcs defense really needs to get better. Oh, and this is going to be a pretty good indication of the fact that they need better defense. Three people in a row still can't do shit. And this is going to be a sphere shot, so this is pretty much a guaranteed goal for them. Because if uh, we saw anything earlier... This guy really needs to work out more. It's four to four. Three shot, seven catch. And here comes the blitz off. We could have some overtime here, folks. There's overtime at this game? I have no idea, actually. I'm just saying that. Hopefully there won't be. Because there will be a definitive winner one way or another. Tidus catches that ball. And the extra soft tackle goes through. Or I should say it doesn't go through, but that's a two-on-one, and one of them is a female furry. I think Edith is pretty fucked here. He better pass that ball, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. He does not manage to grab his ball. And will the other furry manage to grab his ball? He's gonna try to pass it. Will they grab the ball? Hand on ball yes. and grab that ball! That'll, like a champ. That'll do wide open. So with that ball in his hand, he's gonna try to pass through here. Extra soft tackles make that easily possible. Gonna go ahead and swim slowly towards the goal. He's got two on him, but it probably means nothing considering three don't need to cut. There we go. Gonna go ahead and get past those extra soft tackles. And the first is gonna brush it off and go towards that goal. Pretty sure there was a point in this game where I could do that. Get all these people on Titus or whoever and not even have trouble getting past them. Probably. He had no break and didn't make the shot. I guess he thought that this was too far. So, we're going to pass it to somebody else. That's going to really matter. Oh, because they're inevitably shit. going to get to their goal. Oh, shit. And oh, no. The problem oh, here God. is that they oh, can God. easily lose this. Oh, and God. Oh, so my God. God. Saying, oh, God. So, hopefully, he actually blocks the ball this time. Holy crap! He blocked the ball! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He actually got his hand on the ball! Get it, Tidus! Go! Go, Titus! Titus has the ball. He has, like, whopping so 20 seconds to actually do something. He's going to get to the goal. He's going to have two people on him. He's going to have to do something real fast here, people. He's going to have to go for that spear shot, regardless of the fact that there's two people on him, and hope that he takes it. Hopefully the girl doesn't grab it. He the female weakness pass by. The other guy, I don't think he actually did anything. Here comes the spear shot. The hand meant nothing. My time is off! Time what is the fuck? Up. What the time fuck is, is up! The spear shot does not go off on time. And we're going into overtime if that even exists in this game. Apparently overtime does not exist in this game, so I don't know what that actually means as far as the score goes. It didn't say tied. Apparently tied actually is something they count. Apparently it happens more often than I thought. Jeez, how many teams have ties? Yeah, that, that is a lot of ties. Um, God damn. Well then, okay. 
So apparently in the infamous sport of blitz ball, ties actually need something. There is no such thing as overtime. Catch us next time on the next stream for the next game and continuous games most likely of blitz ball.